Hello, I'm Laura McCarry at The Hidden Edge with another tea break tip on how to use business models and tools to help you manage your growing business. Today we're looking at Tuckman's group development model. Bruce Tuckman, a psychology professor, identified four stages of development. They are forming, storming, norming and performing. Tuckman said that these phases are all necessary and inevitable in order to uh, for teams to grow, face up to challenges, tackle problems, find solutions, plan work and deliver results as well. The team growth model also suggests that unless issues of process and uh, feelings have been satisfactorily addressed, it's unlikely that the team will ever be fully productive. Let's have a look at the model. The four stages are forming, storming, norming and performing. Tuckman suggests that the life cycle of a team involves those four stages. At each stage, the dynamics of the team change dramatically from periods of inefficiency and uneasiness through to a period of high performance. In the forming stage, there is some attempt to define the job to be done. Team members look for outside guidance and direction and people feel anxious and unsure of their roles. Most look to a leader or coordinator for guidance. In the storming phase, team members resist the task or demands. Team members deny the task and look for reasons not to do it. And people still feel uncertain and try to express their individuality individuality. Concerns arise about the team's hierarchy. In the norming phase, there's often a, an open exchange of views about the team's problems. The team starts to set up the procedures to deal with the tasks and people ignore individual differences and team members are more accepting of one another. And in the performing stage, Resources are allocated efficiently. Processes are in place to ensure that the final objective is achieved. The team is able to solve problems and people share common focus, communicate effectively and become more eff efficient and flexible as a result. It is an elegant and helpful explanation of team development and behaviour, especially if we overlay Homan's theory of group formation. George Homan, in his earlier theory, based it on three elements, activities, interactions, and sentiments. These are directly related to one another. The required activities are those assigned to tasks. The required interaction is where any one person's activity takes place with another in the group, and the sentiments relate to the feelings and attitudes of a person towards others. We can also overlay Blanchard and Hershey's situational leadership model, which was developed about the same time. We've looked at this model in more depth in a different video. As a team leader, the aim is to help your people perform well as quickly as possible. And to do this, you need to change your approach at each stage. In the forming stage, direct the team and establish clear objectives for both the team as a whole and for individual members. In the storming stage, establish processes and structures. Build trust and good relationships between team members. Resolve conflicts swiftly if they occur. Provide support, especially to those team members who are less secure. Remain positive and firm in the, in the face of challenge to your leadership or to the team's goal. Explain the forming, storming, norming and performing idea so that, idea so that people understand why problems are occurring and so that they can get to see uh, that there will be a better future. Coach team members in assertiveness and conflict resolution skills where that might be necessary. In the norming phase, step back 
and help team members to take responsibility for progress towards the goal. And in the performing phase, delegate tasks and projects as far as you possibly can. Once the team is achieving well, you should aim to have as light a touch as possible. You will now be able to start focusing on other goals and other areas of work. Tuckman highlighted a number of important observations from his research on team and teamwork. A team will not be fully effective unless it reaches the stages of performing and inter interdependence. Many teams accept storming as a normal way of operating, while a number of teams never get beyond forming. Unless the process of norming is completed, teams may degenerate into the storming phase. The amount of time taken to complete the cycle will vary tremendously between teams and their leadership. Following another period of research, Tuckman added a fifth stage to his development model that he called a journey. This is the final stage, which includes the disengagement of the relationships between team members and maybe a, a, a period of recognition for the team's achievements. Concluding the operations of a team can be quite disturbing for some people, especially if they've been working together for quite some time. And it has also been called the morning phase. So there you go, have um, downloaded the templates from the Hidden Edge website and identify where your stage of team development, your, your team is at, and consider what you need to do in order to move the team from their current position towards that of the performing stage. Schedule regular reviews of where your team is at and adjust your behaviour and leadership approach appropriately. So that's it from me. Uh, until next tea break time, enjoy the rest of this one.